And this is Parsha. The Torah tells Hashem told Moshe to go up to the mountain, look at Israel, and then he will pass away as his brother Aaron did. As the Pasik says, Vayomer Hashem el Moshe, Alel hare varim haze, ure ta aretz asher tati levne Israel. Varite ota vinesafta el amecha, gamata ka asher nesaf aaron achicha. Why did Moshe need to go and look at Israel? Why did Hashem tell Moshe that he's going to die? Moshe already knew that he was going to die. Baldwin says that when Moshe went up to the mountain, Hashem showed him all the caves, the tunnels, the gold mines, and more. So it's understood that the reason Hashem told Moshe to go up onto the mountain and look at Israel was so that Hashem could show him all of these things. The Orachim says that the Torah says, and you shall see the land, Ure'et Ha'aret. And then the next part it says, Overa'ita Ota. And you saw it. Why does it say the same thing twice? The Torah doesn't repeat things. The answer is that the first one is just to see it, to look at it, like you look at an insect. And then the second one is so that you can get a deeper vision of it, one that the eye cannot see. Deep, Hashem showed Moshe a deeper vision of the land and everything that's in it. Like you look at an insect under a microscope. It's something that the eye can't naturally see. Rashi says that Moshe thought he was going to go into the land of Israel. Why? Because when the Torah talks about giving land to Tzlovchad's daughters, it says, Naton titen lahem achuzat nachala, as in, you shall give them a portion of land. So Moshe understood, oh, Hashem wants me to give a portion of land, meaning I need to go into Israel to give them the land. Therefore, Hashem sent him up to the mountain and told him, no, you're not going. You may think you're going, I'm sorry, the decree was not canceled. I think that Moshe wanted to see the land of Israel. So Hashem sent him out to the mountain and said, here, look at the land of Israel. You're not allowed to go into it, but you know what? Take a look. You want to look at it? You want to see it? I'm all for that. Go take a look at it. I have another question. Why did the Torah say, and you shall pass like Aaron your brother did? Why is Aaron relevant? Why did he mention Aaron? Rashi says that it's because they both died in the same sin. They both did the same sin, so they both need to die for it. So Hashem saying, had you not done this, you would have both lived. Since you did this sin, you both need to die. It's only because of this sin. It's not because of anything else. The Orachim says that Aram was okay about dying because he trusted Hashem's judgment. Why? Because Hashem doesn't need to kill Tzadikim. He does it because that's the way the world works. It needs to happen. Moshe felt the same way. Therefore, it mentioned Aram to show that Moshe and Aram both felt the same way. They both felt that it had to happen and they trusted Hashem's judgment because Hashem doesn't need to kill Tzadikim. In conclusion, we said that Moshe was told to go onto the mountain, look at Israel, and then he would pass away like his brother Aaron did. We asked why he was told to look at Israel. The Bala Turim said that he was told to go up so Hashem could show him all the tunnels, caves, gold mines, and more. The Orachim said that it was for Moshe to be able to have a more intense view of Israel, which is not possible to see without a miracle. Rashi said that it was to show Moshe that he was going to die because Moshe thought that the decree was canceled and he was able to go into Israel. I said that Moshe may have wanted to see the land, so Hashem showed it to him. We also asked why the Torah mentioned Aaron's death when Hashem told Moshe that he was going to die. Rashi said that it was because they both died from the same sin. And had not been for that sin, they would have both still been alive. However, the Orachayim said, that Aaron felt comfortable about dying because he trusted Hashem's judgment and so did Moshe. They both felt the same way about dying and trusted Hashem's judgment. Shabbat Shalom.